And let me tell you, in case you can't hear behind me, it's a bit loud here. Well, we of course are joined by our friend Sophia here, the bird furniture. A uh, Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary uh, obviously has parrots and other types of birds, I'd imagine. So a, a sanctuary is just a place where they can come when they're in need of a really great place to live. Wow, so it's a safe home for them. A very safe home, yes excellent, it is. Excellent, mm excellent. -hmm. So could you uh, maybe show us around and we can meet some of these, these friends of yours? Oh, absolutely, come on. I'd love to show you the sanctuary. Excellent, let's go. Now, is this the only bird sanctuary in the country? Oh no, there are plenty of bird sanctuaries. There are many bird rescue, bird sanctuary type facilities. However, we are one of the few here in North Carolina. And to the best of my knowledge, I think the bulk of the parrot sanctuaries are actually located in Florida. Well, where it's warmer, of course, that oh, makes sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, how big is this parrot sanctuary? How many birds do you have approximately? All right, well, we are on land that spans about five acres. We have 44 separate uh, aviaries. And right now we've got about 365 parrots on site. Now that number changes frequently because we always get more. Um, and sometimes the neighborhood birds come and stay. So, uh, you know, we're usually running between 365, 375 on an average day. So roughly one bird per day, I suppose. Exactly. One bird for every day of the year. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Now, if you had to guess, how many types, different types of birds would you say you have here? I'd say there are probably 30 different types of birds. And we have everything from the little uh, budgies, parakeets, cockatiels, all the way up to the larger cockatoos and macaws. Now, these are the, so these are the budgies and the cockatiels? Cockatiels. And these would be the smallest of the birds you have here. Yes, except for the neighborhood finches who come every once in a while. Oh, right, the freeloaders for yes. a free meal. I get that. <laughs> wow, look at all those. Come on, friends, come look in here. There's so many in here. of a feather flock, flock together. together. Yeah, right. that, is, that is a very true saying and that is exactly what happens here at Picture Fair Adventure. Now once again I do want to make sure everyone's clear. These birds are not here to be adopted or owned. They've come from homes that they once belonged in and they're here for, for safety for the rest of their lives. The space that they have here is more than you would have at an average home. I think we've discussed with our friends quite often what it's like to own a bird like Tiki or Sundance yes. and how loud and destructive they can be. Yes. Could you maybe show us one of, or some of the bigger birds that you have? Oh, absolutely. Come on, let's yes. take a look at the macaws. All right, let's go. Wow, look at this. These guys just look like Tiki, don't they? <laughs> Blue and gold macaws. So would these be the larger of the birds on the sanctuary? Yes. Yep, uh, our macaws are probably the largest birds that we have on site, and they too vary in size. Uh, we've got some scarlet macaws who, uh, whose heads are pretty large. Well, they're probably going to get very, very loud, so let's kind of check them out, and then we can talk about them afterwards. <laughs> All right, come on, friends. Now this guy here, that's a harlequin macaw. Look how big he is. He's bigger than our Sundance or our Tiki. Hi. Hello. Wow, look at 
look at that guy. Wow, look at these guys. They're not as colorful, but boy, are they as beautiful, aren't they? What are these guys again? These are our crazy umbrella cockatoos. Oh <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> they're very chatty. They are. Oh, uh, and there's, look at the sulfur crested cockatoo right there. Oh, oh, some attention is now. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Oh, wow, look how pretty. I love the light yellow on the tails and on the head there. <laughs> wow. Oh, she really likes you. I think she's flirting with you. Hi there. <laughs> wow, so what is this one again, Sophia? This is a hawk head. A hawk so, head. So, yes, he actually, it's a parrot, but he has the head of a hawk. And he makes the most beautiful sounds. And he's very friendly. He loves company. He loves to chat with our visitors. Hi. Look at the chest there. It's all red and blue striped. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're so precious. Hello. Hi. And they don't mind the other birds yelling and screaming all day. Uh, no, they're, they're fine with that. They're, <laughs> they're really like a bunch of children. So, I mean, this is kind of like the bird variety surgery class. Now, what's this guy behind him, the hawk head? Oh, that's one of our uh, gray Amazons. Oh. Now, <laughs> as big of a place as this is, I'd imagine it takes a whole crew to, to make it run. Do you have a lot of volunteers and managers that run the place, or uh, is it just a few of you? Uh, well, really, it's just a handful. We have uh, Mr. Sess Erdman, who maybe wants to... Venture towards the camera. This is Seth Erdman. Hi, Seth. Hello. How are you? He's the welcome. director of the sanctuary. Excellent. Um, our president, Alan Smith, also helps us do it. And I'll be Daisy Daisy. You can see how loud it is here, of course, with all these birds. Now, Seth, before you go, are you the originator here? You created this uh, yes. this masterpiece of bird heaven. Yes. This is great. Well, bravo to you. This Thank is beautiful. You. Now, is there a way, by chance, could we see where maybe you do some of your work, like preparing food or, or their kitchen at all? Yeah, that on, would be the great. Kitchen. Let's check it out. Wow, so this is uh, this is your kitchen, your bird kitchen, if you will. This is the bird kitchen, and we actually have an on-site chef. Is just, it, is just it for the birds. Gordon Ramsay, by chance? No, I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our kitchen. We, keep, uh, we make food for the birds, so we have everything from rice, pasta, seeds. Um, we actually make muffins, so the birds get muffins. Wow. Yeah, we, we like to get uh, cornbread mix, um, pasta, we make fresh mix. So let's see if we've got some And this is all truly for most of this is human food right. that you're using for uh, for the birds. So we have this wonderful woman named Linda. And oh my god, this is heavy. Feel how heavy this is. Oh, this is like a whole treasure chest of gold. Well, look at this. This is what the birds get to eat. It's fresh vegetables. Wow. Uh, eggs we've got in some there? eggs. We've got vegetables. We've got uh, this is probably some cornbread, um, maybe some leftover bread, canned vegetables, fresh vegetables. Well, this has been an absolute delight. Thank you so much, Sophia and Seth, and the sanctuary, of course, and all of your bird friends. We're going to, I think, take another zoom around to see the birds, but that pretty much is all of our questions. So thank you so much again. Oh, well, thank, and, you. Uh, thank you. Friends, thank you so much for uh, joining us again. Check the notes uh, underneath for any information you'd like about the sanctuary. And uh, until next time, bye.
watching, guys. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my books, Captain J and the Misfit Crew and Captain J and the Perfect Pet, both available on barnesandnoble.com, wordery.com, and amazon.com. We'll see you next time.